Good morning everybody. Bright and early start. Today we're going to have a look at the Nautitech 40 Open and just over here multi-hull yacht of the year the 44 Open. Let's get on board shall we? Start on the port side. A lot of you will be familiar with the Nautitech. Just down here on your sugar scoop you have the emergency steering and access to your um, mechanical space. We'll come forward. It'd be nice later if we can actually get in, have a look at the mechanical space. One of the main differences between the Nautitech and other catamarans is your helm stations are actually outboard. There's two minds of this. Um, some people don't want to be out in the weather some do some say they're not protected enough if you've come from a monohull with aft helm you'll be familiar and it won't bother you too much i like it myself these are a lot faster and sportier than most catamarans but you have a really good view from this helm position and you can see through all the way through the saloon and over to the starboard um, hull over there and obviously because your helms are all the way aft for med mooring you can see everything that's going on i think it's absolutely brilliant i want no problems with protection here and sat down at the helm have your b and g chart plotter autopilot and throttle controls compass as standard and a repeater it's one thing you'll see when we get over onto the starboard helm all your sheets and lines are all brought aft so as you can see you have a small bank of clutches here and a winch just here and your main sheet uh, winch track just here which is fantastic you'll see if we get up above that you actually have your um, main sheet track just up along here up on the hard top i think it's absolutely brilliant it gives you plenty of downforce on the boom allows you to keep the boom low so you have a larger sail area <clears throat> there is plenty of space i'll give you a pano of your outside entertainment space don't forget, this is only a 40-foot catamaran, so there is huge amounts of space here. They've got the table set up for six. Obviously, you'd have extra chairs, but you could obviously put one on either end and comfortably sit eight around this table. And you have a nice long sofa there and an aft bench seat with storage underneath here and there is storage underneath there and this central one too so storage isn't too much of an issue you can have these decked out with teak deck or flexi teak this one's just non-stick we'll come over to the starboard hull once again repeated on starboard you have a bng chart plotter autopilot repeaters throttle controls so you can maneuver your boat from either hull and there's your engine start stop so for mooring you know coming into a marina or whatever to be able to go from port and starboard really quickly is absolutely brilliant your electric connection is here and just come forward and as you can see lines coming back aft to a winch and you have a small tail bin bag along here there are plenty of grab handles to get up as you can see up here just coming up forward they're not flush hatchet hatches it's not a big deal for me it's a big deal for some but as you can see, you've got plenty of room to walk. 
outboard shrouds and these are actually quite far back giving you a slightly sportier rig and you can actually see how low that boom is so if you have to get up onto the hard top there's no issues with um, having to reach up to your boom to pack your main sail away as you can see there's your um, main sheet track more hand holds up here and this actually becomes a rainwater collection gutter too so you can collect your rainwater very handy when on passage come to the business end I'll do the hard top in a minute as you can see from the saloon when we get inside you'll see you have two forward opening hatches and up on the hard top you have two opening hatches which also double up so you can actually have a look at your mainsail. It's all your gubbins, all your halyards and your reefs. Easily to manage. Self-tacking jib and for once on a catamaran. I know you guys, let me know in the comments below what you think um, about self-tackers or you'd rather have a Genoa if possible but as tracks go this is much much bigger than the self-tacking track that we had on the lagoon 51 i'll leave a link for that up in the corner for the delivery we did there nice big trampolines we'll come and have a look around here's your dolphin seats forward on the starboard hull and we'll just look down into the first locker this can be set up as a skipper cabin if you want to, wouldn't be particularly comfortable. But you can see you've got plenty of spaces for your cushions and fenders when underway. Roller furler forward and a really nice bowsprit for a spinny, you know, a kite of some sort, whatever you want, code D, code zero. We'll just give you a look after that swept back screen. There's a slight overhang on the roof to help with light coming in. Help. As you can see on this starboard locker, it smells a bit diesely in there. Have a water tank. And central is your well for your chain. Plenty of storage for fenders and so on. Is your anchor windlass and your chain, keeping everything central to the boat, all the way central, which is really, really nice. If I can get the camera in and turn around, you can see that the anchor just pops out there. The only thing I would say is it's a bit of a pain putting a bridle on because your anchor actually comes out here. Um, as you can see, these guys have left it connected. It's maybe something you can think of doing. If you're doing on a long passage, you might want to remove it. Um, but otherwise, which is quite nice, it saves you having a, a track all the way along forward there. And in this locker, once again, there's just another water tank and more storage. I'm going to go up and show you the hard top. As you can see, there is non-slip everywhere. And you have a bank of solar panels. One thing I want to show you, I'll just turn you around. As you can see how low you can see how low the boom is to me so actually managing your main cell it's very very simple all right before we go inside um, if you can have a look if you see up here there are tracks all the way around so if the weather is a little bit unpleasant You've got a full enclosure, so you can enclose the entire outside. And I know 
there's a custom option that you can get covers enclosures for the helms too for extra weather protection self-draining which is fantastic and just on this side there's an outside fridge cooler apologize camera is a little bit close plenty of storage for all your necessaries water beer tonic for your gin these sliding doors there's actually two doors here solid panel so if you want you can just use one door obviously if you're under passage or the weather's not too brilliant or the second panel which normally is over here actually slides in so everything slides in out of the way nice and neatly just dry my feet on the starboard side you have your galley very functional galley there is some shelving just here and come over and give you a better look as you can see there is salt water and hot and cold fresh water twin that corian is nice and heavy compared to most twin stainless steel sinks which is an absolute bonus and then just over you have a three burner gas stove i should imagine if you had a big lithium battery bank bank you could probably change this for an induction hob if you wish and below your oven broiler waste and cupboard and your gas shut off is in there somewhere and there is for a change storage underneath your oven there's quite a lot of counter space at the end of the day it's catamaran so it's a lot more level you have some cupboards over here i'm not going to open it because they've got all their stuff in the way um small lips on here but you know if you're off on passage you're not expecting anything to go over and then just over the stairwell over this side you have more counter space a large opening fridge which is pretty good plenty of space and some relatively deep drawers and there we go cupboards everywhere I'll try and get as many open for you as I can guys light switches as you come up the stairs we'll have a look down there in a minute and storage mains plugs at the top there there's these two forward opening windows and here do it from this side is your opening hatch so obviously if you've got your main up your jib out you can see everything that's going on on the central unit there is a handy spice rack or bottles on the bottom and we'll go down into the starboard hull first into the aft cabin one of the things that make Nautitech a little bit faster and sportier obviously the hulls are slightly thinner to what you'd get on your production catamaran um, like your lagoons and Fontaine Peugeot you've still got a large double but obviously it's not an island berth there is plenty of storage I'm going to see if I can find a light switch it's probably behind the door yeah, lights aren't on that's a pain okay well it's good to see how much lights coming in without the lights on it gives you a real perspective of what's going on you have a mains plug and a cigarette style charger or hopefully it's waterproof usb yeah double usb charging ventilation I actually don't rate these small fans all that much it's your choice opening hatch 
and these huge port light windows for when you're at anchor somewhere absolutely beautiful and you have an opening hatch up above behind the door <clears throat> you have a large hanging locker and a couple of shelves will actually come out of here and just on the side you have some more storage it's not particularly deep but it's storage and before we do the heads and shower we'll come and do the forward cabin so it's not a single but it's not a double uh, ideal for kids or a single adult guest um, be very very cozy for two once again though you have those North Tech large port light windows and an opening hatch and obviously mains plug USB charging and there is another hanging locker I mean don't forget this boat is 40 foot okay so you can't expect miracles except for in here where you have your heads opening hatch a nice single seat sink and a separate shower so there's plenty of room we'll get in here there is plenty of room in this shower I'm five eight five nine and as you can see I'll put my hand all the way out there there is loads and loads of room so if you're on the tall side there's plenty of space in here come out of here and obviously with your stairwell you have your escape hatch let's finish the saloon it's a nice table for four um, get a seat on the end you get five I think six would be pushing it but it's a nice saloon area at the end of the day it's a catamaran so most of your time is going to be spent out here it's only really on passage all those extra extra miserable days we are actually going to be spending inside it'd be quite nice on passage to be able to do your watch from here at the table you have a bng chart plotter your vhf fusion stereo and all your lights water pump controls and everything here iridium go so you know sitting here be a nice spot to do your passage keep an eye on your sails you might have to go out and put a reef in or two you know there's no need to leave your saloon and down port side we have the owner's cabin so we'll start aft once again a very large double almost a queen just sort of in between the two there is storage underneath the bed I quite like the material around the edge of the beds a lot of the boat companies are doing this now I've been on a few yachts where it's been carbon and looked spectacular same as the other cabins mains plug USB charging you have your reading lights at the end being that this boat is surrounded by other boats and it's quite a gray morning this morning at Cannes there's still a lot of light coming in here opening hatch and then you have a nice little seating area for relaxing in or if you want to get away from your guests or your kids some storage over here maybe a little office space once again there's a plug and USB charging from my experience the few times I've been out on the cats I wouldn't want to be down below working unless I was on anchor 
definitely not on passage obviously you have access to bilge and storage down there there are options for these boats to have water makers fitted and washing machines and we'll close the privacy door off so you can see that slides nicely across and obviously now you're completely on your own away from your guests and then we go forward into I'll oh, just pass this cupboard nice hanging locker here and we'll come forward into the owner's bathroom plenty of work top there only one sink I should imagine you could put in a second sink if you wish you have a Jabsco electric um, freshwater flush toilet in here which is nice as you can see these guys are gone for the option for the washing machine they're not huge but you know does your necessaries nice big port lights ventilation and a nice separate shower which there's room for two I don't know if the camera does it justice but it does squeeze there's room for two in here and once again there is plenty of head height so if you're six foot plus there's plenty of room for you and just up here you can see that opening hatch I think we'll sit out here for a second as catamarans go if you were shopping in your market North Tech would be one of the ones at the top of my list as a monohull sailor um, to actually be out on the hulls I know it gets boring with the wind in your face but most of the time we're on autopilot nowadays um, you know there aren't many people that can argue that I think it's a really really nice catamaran it's reportedly very, very fast. I had a lovely conversation with Toby Hodges from Yachting World earlier. He's been out on a sail test on one of these. It would be nice if we could get out on a test sail, um, really put it through its paces. What can you say? You know, pound for pound. This is a sailor's cat, sporty, performs well, and you've got plenty of space for the family. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll see you on the next one. The Oyster 595. We're going to have a look around the Halberg Rassi 400. Garcia Exploration 52. We've got a sustained 27 to 30 knots of wind. Two and a half metre swell. Bit of sunshine and it's fantastic. Let's go and have a look, shall we? Thank you.